Second Chance Lady, welcome to the Second Chance Pathway to Freedom and Success. And what does this Pathway of the Second Chance program look like? I really feel like we developed one of the best programs ever when it comes to building a body that you deserve, love and respect, without ever having to do another diet again. Okay, that involves all these phases over here. So number one, we clearly go identify the current identity you feel, okay? You will feel as somebody right now, okay? So we identified who you see yourself as. We take phase number two, we gaining control over food. Phase number two, we reclaim your identity. We built you a new identity, which involves self-love, self-acceptance, and of course, you know, be able to love yourself again before you're able to build the body that you love and respect, okay? Then you build the body you deserve and love, and ultimately, it's really about reprogramming your health and mind in order for you to be able to maintain the results, okay? So how does that look like? Let's go and understand the current identity. So phase number one goes into your current identity. Now, understanding where you are and your symptoms is vital to make you understand how you created this identity you currently have. Now, most women will show up with a lot of symptoms. You know, you will tell yourself, you know, I'm insecure, I have low confidence, I cannot wear this, I cannot wear that. I don't feel pride according to what I see in the mirror. What I see in the mirror does not reflect my identity. If you go a, st a stage later, a stage deeper, most of you that I can actually help will even aid their body, will be a person that is close to depression, will be a woman that really struggle with telling yourself a lot of stories. And then you say to yourself, the body image I have is the um, uh, is the construction or is the results of me not having good habits. Yet, if you go a step further, what I'm trying to make you understand here, that this is what you think. You think that just by getting your body smaller or, you know, more defined or losing a bunch of kilo, you know, you will fix these underlying problems, okay? Most women, you know, that, you know, whether you have a couple of kilo to lose or whether you have maybe a couple of kilo of muscle to gain, you know, that you don't feel good about yourself, it's not for the muscle, okay? We have tons of proof about that. that we we have women that look uh, stunning, yet they don't feel good in their body. Sometimes they even hate their life or they hate their body. Because, you know, there is always an underlying problem. Your current or past profound story that includes things such as breakups, includes things such as maybe abuse, include things such as, you know, family loss or, you know, family sickness, include things such as maybe depression, include things as toxic relationship, include thing, things as bullying, uh, might even include things such as emotional stress or emotional eating or eating disorder, you know, and by the way, it obviously it's not cumulative, you know, you could have one or the other, you know, every individual person stories, right, always forge an identity, okay, so if you had any of this, and, and again, my, some of them might not even be listed, but if you have a profound story, right, and you get, um, how can I say it, you get uh, emotionally abused from it, right, and you basically uh, lose yourself, right, and your body image throughout, you know, bad habits, throughout making the wrong choices, throughout letting yourself go, throughout actually getting into the path of self-destructing behavior, right, you build a body image, right, you build this body image, and of course, you know, the body image might look a little bit overweight, might even look a little bit underweight, might look, but, you know, the, the the juice of the discussion is that now your body image does not reflect who you are or who you feel you should be, okay? And again, this, for most people, especially the people, in fact, all the people I can only help, you will be a big problem, okay? Those people that says to me, okay, you know, I, I feel like a little bit, uh, I have a little bit of cellulitis, I just want to, you know, get my bikini and then I'm going to be fine. And yet, you know, I ask them, okay, what did, did you do to actually fix it? Oh, nothing, nothing really, right? I mean, like, that's not a big problem, you know? A person that has a profound story, like I see here on the left, will have symptoms such as age showing up, you know, I hate my body, such as low confidence, I can no longer you know, stay in front of my mirror. It's really a problem for me. Things such as depression, things such as, you know, so low self-esteem. Ultimately, those things, right, you know, show up in things such as, okay, I, I, they start showing up in things such as I don't want to wear this particular clothes anymore, right? The thing that I could wear, I can no longer wear. Or I want to um, be able to wear my bikini with pride, right? 
this is the surface stuff. Or I can no longer be that woman, that business woman that I have to give presentation. And every time I'm on the stage, I feel like aware of my body. I feel like people are judging me, right? Or, you know, I don't fit it into the system. I can no longer go with my friend for a hike. I can no longer, um, you know, go shopping with them. I always feel like the last one. Or I feel like, you know, I can no longer play with my kid. I don't fit in the system according to what the system thinks, right? Now, you see a bunch of successful women in here, right, in this picture. Yet, you must understand that not being like them, right, this is only surface level stuff, right? Ultimately, you, this might escalate, if this is not already in, right, into depression, into unhappiness, into, you know, relationship being destroyed, into you hating yourself, into psychological condition, and what people always fail to actually believe or think, into health problems, right? Like conditions such as when somebody gets overweight, they might end up into diabetes or into heart rate disease, right? So it's really about what you experiencing right now that forge your current identity. You must understand you must work with us in the first phase to understand your current identity. Where are you right now? Who do you see yourself as, right? Because when you know that, then we can go to phase two. We start controlling the food, right? We start understanding, okay, let's make an assessment. We're going to take a test and we're going to understand exactly how you control your food. What got you to lose control of your life, including of your food, right? And that means, of course, we go by the nature first. A lot of people will lose control of food because they are, you know, too busy, you know, taking on in this all these crazy diets, right? You know, of course, you know, they go from starving themselves, from cutting off food or food groups, and then they end up like going from you know, restriction to binge eating, right? So the first thing we do in our program is really making sure you don't have any deficiency, you have all your body needs, you have all the macros, you understand that, you know, what control and stress about food is, and, and kind of we want to go to improve your current habit and master your current habit. When you understand that your physiology, quote unquote, is being taken care of, now the second thing is controlling your thoughts and emotion. There are going to be emotional here, you know, there are, you know, all these struggles and memory that you built in your identity, some of you, you will hit by stress or emotion. So there is work to do when it comes to understanding, managing, assessing, and change your thoughts, okay? And of course, the last part of this uh, particular phase, it's understand that there is no perfectionism, okay? Most of people, they do something and then they stop doing something and then they quit, right? So how many times can you quit until you con convince yourself that you can no longer be successful, right? You must understand that health is not a streak. Health is not a streak. It's about getting better every single day. It's about failing. It's about getting up and understand that your success is something, is kind of like a multitude of things happening throughout the month. It's how many times you are successful eating in a month. Out of 60 meal in a week, if you hit 50, you can consider yourself successful. It's not about every time that you mess up, quote unquote, you end up kind of like, you know, starting from scratch, okay? So this is basically how to beat binge eating and food dependency with a simple approach. And this is basically the title of our, um, you know, second phase. And of course, if you're able to do that, you're gonna no longer find yourself, you know, getting in front of the fridge in the middle of the night. You're no longer gonna end up emotionally eating in front of the TV for no reasons without even knowing why you're doing it. You're no longer gonna see that food and you're gonna say, the food controls me. You know, you're gonna be able to have a relationship with food that is respectful, okay? And you're no longer gonna fall for these crazy diets, right? That obviously they don't produce any results in a long haul. The third phase is what I like to call reclaim your identity, okay? Many women, unfortunately, they, are, they don't have clarity on the fact that you need to reclaim your identity and build self-acceptance before you can start loving yourself. You need to reclaim your identity and shift your mindset to see health as self-care and health as self-love, okay? You're not going to be able to build a body from hate, from frustration, and from all this mechanism, okay? So how do you do that? First of all, you address those things. You build self-confidence from self-love. You don't build a body that you can love and respect from telling yourself how many times are you failing, from telling yourself to getting frustrated every single time, okay? So you will build, you know, you will start by analyzing where your lack of confidence come from, where your um, self-esteem or low self-esteem come from, and basically, after that, you're gonna interact with the story that imprisoned you, okay? Until today, 
until you see this video, probably even now that you hear this video, you have a story on your mind, like you have a belief. This belief system creates stories, right? Like you need to understand the story that imprisons you so that you can free yourself from those, right? And you can finally start a building health from a per perspective of self-care, right? You finally have to find a workout, a exercise you enjoy doing more than a month, okay? Because if you don't do that, you can never do something for long enough uh, to actually see a result. And that includes, of course, not only one exercise, but includes you understanding that uh, results, like I said before, is, in is an addition of many actions, right? So how do you go to walk? You can go to walk and you can just go to walk for the purpose of walking, or you can go to walk and actually look in the nature and you can do walk as self-care, right? You can eat a, um, let's say, 10, 15 blueberries very slowly and you can appreciate the taste instead of throwing things down your throat and say, okay, cool, I think like I had a good meal, right? You can actually work out with intent. It's not about saying, okay, I work out so I can, I can check off a box. It's actually about saying, I need to work out because I love to work out. And I know most of you are not going to be here at this point, but this exactly is why you must understand and you must master self-care and self-health before, before you can actually go to the phase number four and before we can talk about, you know, detail, before we can build a body that you can love and respect, before that we can talk about things such as genetics, body typing, and makeup, right? Before we can talk about things such as metabolism law, set points, settling points, metabolic adaptation. Before we can talk about, you know, the perfect crafting, the perfect workout routine and nutrition for you. You're going to do all that in this particular phase, but of course, before there are the basics, okay? So this phase, this phase number four, will teach you how to build a body that you love without giving up all your time doing useless cardio right? And if you finally are able to do that, you will find and you will get the body you love and deserve. The body you love and deserve might look something like that, might look something a little bit more in shape, but basically what I would like to see at the end of the day, I would like you to, for you to stop judging yourself or, you know, feel like you're judged from other people just based on your look, okay? Whether or not you have a super amazing body when you finish the program, right? Or whether or not you already have it right now. If you still feel like you judge yourself, or if you, if you still feel like you are a stereotype of a person and people judge you for no reasons, you know, by the end of the program, I can assure you that whether it's going to be your look like, you're going to look like this lady over here, full of confidence, full of love, and finally built a body image that reflects your current identity. And when you do that, of course, you're ready for phase number five. Now it's all about learning how to make health stick, loving the process with a flexible and sustainable system, okay? Which includes understanding what it takes to do the improvement of the daily work, okay? Making space for yourself, knowing how to plan, knowing how to put your trainings into your life, which includes understanding there is no longer a motivation game. It's learning about mastering habitual fitness. And of course, as you see here, learn, lead and grow. If you're not able to be the leadership, if you're not able to teach what you learn to other people, it's never going to stick because you're always going to look for certainty. You're always going to look for the next program. You're always going to look for somebody that tells you every time you gain an extra kilo on the scale that this is water and is not fat. You need to learn the information and be able to teach it to others because only then you get certainty and only then you can become self-sustainable. Okay, And after that, of course, that means that you understand that maintenance it's really equals to setting new goals. You never are maintaining per se. You know, you're always going to be maintaining, but you're always going to look for strive and to become the best version of yourself. Even the best version today, you can always become better tomorrow. Okay? This is, you know, uh, this is the second chance pathways of success. If you're going to master that, you are going to become the second chance, the best version of yourself, the pathway to freedom and success. And what I would like you to do right now, I would like you to actually look in anywhere in this page that you see this particular calendar or maybe a green button or, or call to action button. I would like to, for you to click. I would like to find a free day and I would like you, and I cannot stress this enough, I would want to, to for you to answer all the questions in detail. If your spot, this, this question are not going to be answered in detail, we will cancel your call. This is not a call 
for, for you to come and get a bunch of information. This is a call for you to come and get coaching. We're going to coach you for 30 minutes and talk exactly about your current situation, why are you failing, what is missing for you to get results, and what is it that you need to do to get results. After that, you're going to have two choices. Number one, you take this information we give you, this coaching information, and you do it on your own. Or, as you understand, you do it with us and you save yourself a, a lot of time. You got a proven system and you got somebody that done it before, you know, a hundred of women before you that actually are already in the second chance. Now, you know, um, if this is a fit after that, you know, after we have our call, we're going to then talk about the money investment, the time investment and the energy investment. This is Jerry here. I'm looking forward to coaching you and I see you on the other side.